These jeans are very, very stretchy, so they feel like I'm wearing leggings, even though <laughs> they don't look like leggings. What's good? I'm back again with another video, and today I'm going to share with you guys how to look cute when you're lazy, or like how to style cute outfits when you're lazy, because we've all had those days where um, you just don't want to wear skinny jeans, <laughs> but you still want to look a little bit put together, you know what I'm saying? So if you consistently find yourself having that dilemma or in that situation, then this video is for you. Thank you so much Victoria's Secret Pink for sponsoring this video. As we all know, they're like the masters of loungewear. Their clothing is so comfortable. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to take some of their loungewear and dress it up a bit. I'm gonna give you some styling tips for how to look a little bit more put together using loungewear. Very comfortable items, but still looking cute. So let's get started. All right, so there are three like rules to consider when you are trying to look cute and put together when you're lazy. The first thing to consider is color, the color palette of your outfit. The second is fit and proportions, and the third is uh, accessories. So we're gonna start with colors first. When you are purchasing your loungewear, make sure that it's comfortable, but I mean, loungewear is pretty much uh, created to do that but you also want to choose colors that are very easy to match. So I would recommend like neutral colors like black, white, tans, grays, things like that because they will always look more put together, they will look more intentional and they will match with everything. So I could have worn this with like red pants and it still would have matched because black matches with everything. But take my outfit for example. So we have this really, really cute um, black crew neck sweater by Victoria's Secret Pink. And then I have these um, pants. Now these pants look like leggings, but they're actually sweat pants. And we will get into fit and proportions later on. But when you're wearing something that is a little bit oversized, you want to pair it with something that is um, not oversized we're gonna talk about that a little bit later on but I just want to show you the guys the color palette of this outfit everything is black even the shoes I took it a step further with the shoes and when you wear an outfit that is all one color it kind of like is a little attention grabbing like some people will wear black sweatpants with like a white top and it still matches, but when you're wearing all one color, it kind of like gets people's attention. Um, if you wear like all white, you'll get people's attention all gray. Whenever you wear like a monochromatic outfit, you just like, you just look a little bit more intentional. Another cool thing about these shoes is that it has like these little rose gold detailing on it. So even though I'm wearing all black, that's a cute like little detail that makes it a little bit different. Different, you know what I'm saying? So I really, really love the way that this crew neck sweater fits on my body. Um, I love when crew neck sweaters fit like this because um, it is like a little bit oversized and it still looks cozy, but I'm not drowning in it. Like there's a lot of um, oversized fit sweaters or sweatshirts that like I just totally drown in. What I like about this is that it's a nice cut, it's a nice fit. Um, I love when there's like a little bit of bunching around the wrist area because I have very small wrists. So it just kind of, balances that out um, and then I also really love um, the length of the sweatshirt it just like cuts off at a really flattering length speaking of proportions the second rule that I want to talk to you guys about is fit in proportions and fit in proportions are very very important when wanting to look put together when you're lazy you have to choose pieces that are very comfortable but you also want to make sure that they fit right to create the best proportions so let me show you guys what I'm talking about for example when you are wearing an oversized sweater like this, it's best to wear pants that are tight to kind of create balance and offset the oversizedness or the bagginess of the top that you're wearing. On the flip side, if you are going to wear really baggy pants, like sweatpants or something like that, it's best to wear a top that is tight fitting. So like a bodysuit or like a crop top or just like a really um, tight fitting t-shirt or whatever. That way the proportions balance out. Another tip that I wanna give to all of those who have very skinny necks 
you probably already know this if you watch any of my fashion videos, but um, stick away from boat neck necklines if you have a very small frame or if you have a very skinny neck. A lot of loungewear brands tend to create a lot of loungewear with a boat neck neckline because they think it like looks more free or it looks more cozy or whatever, but the thing is, if you have a very skinny neck like I do, the only thing that a boat neck neckline will do to your body is it will make your body look like it's drowning in the clothes that you're wearing. That's just another tip for people who have like really skinny necks like I do, you're really gonna benefit from like a, a mock neck or like a crew neck. This is the situation where we thrive. But anyway, like I said, I'm wearing this really cute gold sweater with these blue jeans and these uh, brown boots. Let me explain why this outfit is popping. So first of all, the color palette is popping because gold and blue are like kind of complementary colors. And second of all, because I am wearing an oversized sweater or an oversized top, it balances out perfectly with the skinny jeans because it's oversized on the top, but then it's fit on the bottom and it creates a really nice balance. Now I know you're probably thinking like, oh, jeans on a lazy day? I don't think so, but let me tell y'all, it's very, very possible to be comfortable in a pair of skinny jeans. You just have to pick the right ones. I got a lot of questions on these jeans on my last fashion video, by the way, but these jeans are very, very stretchy, so they feel like I'm wearing leggings, even though <laughs> they don't look like leggings. So, when you are looking for jeans that you want to feel like leggings or that you want to be really comfortable in, look for jeans that contain a percentage of elastane or spandex because that's what's gonna give the jeans the elasticity to feel like you're wearing leggings, even though <laughs> it doesn't look like you are because we're still looking cute, but I'm not wearing leggings, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still comfortable, okay? Another thing that I want to mention is because this sweater is so long, it's important to wear pants that one, are tight because it's oversized, but two, because of the length, you want to wear pants that are true to size. Like you don't want to wear sweatpants with a sweater like this because uh, a lot of sweatpants are created with like a drop crotch. So because this um, sweater is so long, if you wear pants with a drop crotch, it's gonna look a little, the proportions are gonna be off. So your torso is going to look like it's 10 feet tall and then your legs are gonna look two inches tall. And we don't want that. Or maybe you do, but I don't. <laughs> now we're gonna talk about accessories. Now accessories are a super easy way to make your lazy outfits look more put together. So we are back in our all black outfit. I have my black crew neck sweater and my black sweatpants. The only difference here is that I added two gold chains here um, to create like a necklace stack. And it looks just a little bit more put together. It also looks a little bit more like streetwear-ish because of the style of necklaces that I chose. The structure of this uh, crew neck is a little bit more like masculine-ish, whereas these little um, chains are very dainty and delicate, so I feel like it offsets and complements each other really well. Um, also, it just adds like something a little bit extra to the outfit. I don't know, I just really love the way like a necklace stack looks with anything that's like crew neck and I don't know. Shoes! are an underrated accessory. I feel like a lot of people forget about the impact that shoes have on an outfit. The wrong pair of shoes can destroy an outfit the way that the right pair of shoes can upgrade an outfit. So when selecting shoes, it's very important to pay attention. Heeled boots will immediately upgrade your outfit. Now, I know you're thinking heels, uh, Asia. I'm lazy, I'm trying to be comfortable. Well, listen, the only thing you have to consider is the height of the heel. So the heels on these boots are actually too high for me to be entirely comfortable when I'm lazy. Like, I'm lazy right now and just looking at this is giving me anxiety. <laughs> but these boots 
have a heel height that are super comfortable for me. So when you're picking out heeled boots, you know, they don't have to be this high. You can go for a lower one and it's still going to have the same effect, especially if like the toe box is a little bit pointed. You know what I'm saying? So I have switched out my sweater for this like off-white kind of color. Still super cute. I love this like off-white, um, like tannish type of color. I just think it looks really nice um, when I don't want to wear like a white sweater. Oh, it kind of matches, this outfit matches the room that I'm in. That's hilarious. This matches the walls and then my pants matches the door frames. That is hilarious. But anyway, so we have this like off-white sweater and then I have my white jeans on and then I have <laughs> I have some sneakers on. It could look better, you know what I'm saying? Because the proportions aren't right. Um, the length of the pants and then the chunkiness of the shoes. This outfit just needs better shoes to look better. So we're gonna try it with these booties. Don't I immediately look super chic with a heeled boot on compared to the sneakers? Like, shoes are so important. I feel like people forget that a lot. But yeah, I just look way more chic and put together just by changing the shoes. It's like a statement boot with this outfit. You know what I'm saying? I just really love the way that this looks. And it's still very comfortable because the heel is not that high. And I really like how the fringing, I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but the fringing of the jeans and the way it looks over the, the snake print boot, oh, it's just, it's just so cute. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to share this last outfit with you guys. So you know how that last outfit with the boots was dressed up in a more like fashion chic sort of way? Well, this outfit is dressed up in a more like street style way. It's very, very popular in streetwear right now to wear a belt bag across the body like this, but I also found out that I really like how this looks when you turn it around like that and then because this has like the big old logo going across the body, I just think that looks really cool. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like a play on that streetwear trend right now. And then I have these Victoria's Secret pink uh, sweatpants because these are super baggy. I decided to pair it with a skin tight like uh, bodysuit. If it was just like a regular tank top, um, you would see like bunching at the sides. So the bodysuit will just make sure that everything is tucked into the pants so that it looks more tight on top and then the bottom can be a little bit more baggy. And then I've got J's on my feet. I have my Air Jordan uh, Bread 11s. These are my favorite Jordans of all time. Favorite colorway, favorite um, style. I just love them so much. And I really like them because they are black and red, which are like two of my favorite colors to wear. And then it matches with um, like the logo on the pants right here. So, you know, we got some color coordination going on. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I know this may not look put together for some people's style. I couldn't find a jacket to go with it, so I just went with the bodysuit and then paired it with the little belt bag um, turned around. Yes. And that, my friends, is how to style outfits when you're feeling lazy. So three things to keep in mind, color palette, fit and proportions, and accessories. And once you have all of those in consideration, your outfits should look poppin'. Just like this light is poppin' right now. The sun really came out and she said, hey, I hope you're starting to film a video right now. I know the entirety of your video was in clouded bad lighting, but it's fine. I'll come out just as you're ending the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, Victoria's Secret Pink, for sponsoring this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys next time.